Assalamu alaikum I am Rubaiyat Shanmin Maria and I am going to give a presentation on hinge line structures and dentition of pallisipoda First of all we have to know what is pallisipoda The pallisipods are a type of mollusk that has two shells hence the common name of bivalve The shells are hinged together by a ligament that continually forces the shells open only special muscles called adductor muscles can close the shells together upon this the shell springs open since the adductor muscle is fails to work this is why most fossil bivalves are found open or in two pieces economic importance of pallisipod first one is source of food and the most important they are producer of pearl and gem The next point is hinge line structures at the um, dorsal margin the valves are united to one another for a shorter or longer distance along a line which is called the hinge line hinge line carries teeth and sockets the hinge line is mostly curved but in some genera like arca it may be quite straight as we know that hinge line carries teeth and sockets now we we will discuss about these two points first one is teeth the teeth perform three functions enables alignment of the two valves when they close interlocks them to prevent shearing and above all during burrowing maintains contact between valve sockets they are depression on the opposite side of the valve where the teeth fit even sometimes there may be lateral teeth only sometimes the car- cardinal teeth alone are present in but in some cases there is a row of similar and equal teeth or they could just be absent however when teeth are present they do differ much in their form and arrangement now we will discuss about dentition Dentition means the arrangement of teeth and sockets along the hinge line. Generally, there are two kinds of teeth. One is cardinal teeth, which lies beneath the arm bone, and the lateral teeth, which lies on either side of arm bone. Besides of these two kinds of teeth, there are seven types of dentition. First one is tectone. teeth are numerous and are arranged along a straight and curved hinge radiating from all the from the center of of the valve example are arca glycemeris etc then the next point is cisodont teeth are very large and have many parallel growths and normal to the axis of the tooth such as trigonia diastodon teeth which are located near the edge of the valve are small and simple mytilus is an exam is an example of diastodon the next point is isodon teeth are very large and lie on either side of a central ligament teeth in this teeth and sockets are symmetrical such as spondylus heterodont with two or three cardinal teeth below the arm bone as well as elongated lateral teeth at rear and posterior to this example is vena the next point is this um, this modont neither teeth or sockets the teeth are very reduced or absent with accessory ridges lying along the margin to take their place precardium is an example of this modon and the lastly pachydont the teeth are very large heavy and blunt example is rudis teeth and that brings us to the end i like to thank you for your time and attention today 